Hey there, this is Barry Shans, founder of Mobile Audio Academy, author of Crossover Curving. We're going to take a look at Helix DSP software settings for Robert Williams' four-way system. The emphasis here is uh, sort of sanity checking some crossover settings. I have reviewed the entire system in here and my concerns are mainly with the crossovers. We are going to go from right to left. I like to go from low frequencies to high frequencies, so let's get going. The subwoofers are sealed, so my first concern will be to check the high pass filter. We don't need that. and. You you can see it's bypassed. Low pass is 80 hertz, Linkwood's Riley, uh, fourth order or negative 24 decibels per octave. Front left low is the Satori 7.5 inch mid bass woofer. Let's look at high pass. We have 58 hertz, uh, Linkwood's Riley, fourth order. I'm not going to keep repeating that because that's all the way across the board. Low pass filter is 232 hertz. Moving on to the scan speak 4 inch mid range. High pass is 511 hertz. Low pass is about 2 kilohertz. And then the scan speak tweeter. Uh, one inch tweeter, we have about 4.8K. And of course we don't need a low pass filter on that. Now we will review dispersion of the speaker as a way to guide our selection of a low pass filter. We begin by referencing this dispersion chart the diameter is for the diaphragm as measured in inches. And generally speaking, I tend to look at this column shaded in yellow. So if we look at the Satori 7.5 inch woofer, we would be choosing a low pass filter crossing frequency at or below 1.5 kilohertz. Of course, 7.5 inch diameter is not on the chart, but we can extrapolate and it'll be a good choice. We can do a sanity check on this by also examining the measured frequency response versus SPL. And this is an extremely well-behaved speaker. If we look at what's happening here in the 1K to 2K region, we're not going to encounter any major difficulties. If we move on to the four inch mid range, we can see uh, 2260 Hertz. And I'm going to recommend we cross at 2.5K. Referring to frequency response, actual measured response. Again, we have a very well-behaved speaker. This time I am going to show you my crossover recommendations. I have created a preset that I can send to Robert. We're going from right to left here. The subwoofer low pass is at 60 hertz. I'll say this just one time for the whole system. It is Linkwitz Riley, negative 24 dB per octave. Moving on to the mid bass. High pass is 80 hertz. So let's go back to the subwoofer for one second. We're having an intentional gap from 60 hertz to 80 hertz. 
Low pass filter is 400 hertz. Moving on to the mid range, come in at 400 hertz and cross at 2.5K. And lastly, the tweeter high pass is 2.5K with no need for a low pass filter. Hey, this is Barry. Uh, one more time, just for a moment before you close out this video, please uh, go to the website mobileaudioacademy.com. There is an offer for the book Crossover Curving. This book is one of the hardest things I've ever developed in my life. It is the culmination of 30 some years of my experiences and my own unique perspective. I guarantee you're going to find something insightful and something you can put to use to make your own sound system sound better and be more reliable and have a lower distortion. Again, go to mobileaudioacademy.com right now.